The prodigal son learned this lesson the hard way, just as we read in Luke 15, 12, 13. The younger son said to his father, Father, give me my share of the estate. So he divided his property between them. Not long after that, the younger son got together all he had, set off for a distant country, and there squandered his wealth in wild living. He rushed ahead of the father to claim his inheritance when he didn't have what it takes to manage it. His story illustrates the consequences of rushing ahead without wisdom and patience. Rushing ahead often guarantees undesired returns for a simple reason. God's timing is the best, as Ecclesiastes 3.11 reminds us. He has made everything beautiful in its time. It might seem unfortunate that our timing rarely coincides with that of God, and this is often for a good reason. Just as we wouldn't give a race car to a young, inexperienced driver, God, in His wisdom, withholds certain blessings or opportunities until we are ready to handle them. It's a form of protection, much like how a loving parent keeps their child from harm. God is often saving us from our own selves, even when we don't know it. Proverbs 19.21 reinforces this idea, stating, Many are the plans in the mind of a man, but it is the purpose of the Lord that will stand. Sometimes we're shielded from situations that could lead to our own destruction, even if we can't comprehend it at the time. The book of Psalms is indeed full of questions such as how long and why not now. These questions reflect our human impatience and desire for immediate relief. In Psalm 13, 1, 2, David cries out, How long, Lord? Will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I wrestle with my thoughts and day after day have sorrow in my heart? These questions resonate with our own struggles and impatience when facing adversity. But in our moments of impatience, it's essential to remember Isaiah 40, 31. But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Waiting on the Lord's timing, even when it doesn't align with ours, ultimately leads to renewal and strength. The story of the prodigal son, the wisdom of Ecclesiastes, and the cries in the book of Psalms all teach us the importance of patience and trust in God's timing. Rushing ahead without his guidance can lead to undesirable outcomes, but when we wait on him, we find strength and protection in his perfect timing. Faith is at least in part the ability to trust that if you knew everything God knew, and if you understood everything God understood, and if you could see everything God sees, you would say that's right. It takes faith to believe that, because our vision is so limited and our pain can seem so long. But if we knew what God knew and could see what God sees, we would say, of course, of course, I see why that had to happen to him and to them and to her and to that country and that people and that decision and that thing. God knew what he was doing. God's delays are not tantamount to God's denials, as we learn in Isaiah 55, 8 to 9. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. When it seems like you're enduring a prolonged period of God's delay, remember that it doesn't equate to His denial. As thoughts try to convince you that it's too late, that your blessings will never come, let those doubts pass like a passing wind. God remains faithful to His promises, which are still in transit, even when every circumstance suggests that things are impossible. Take heart. For as 2 Corinthians 5, 7 reminds us, for we walk by faith, not by sight. In the unseen realm, God is orchestrating events. He's moving obstacles out of your path, aligning healing, favor, and opportunities. They're already on your schedule, but here's the crux. 
If you could see exactly how everything would unfold, faith wouldn't be necessary. God's ways are mysterious, and He can use anything and anyone to lead you to your destined place. I'm here to share a message with someone who may have entered with a heavy heart, feeling as though nothing positive ever unfolds in their life, carrying the belief that they are always the last to be chosen and the first to be cast aside. If you've been singing that sorrowful tune, it's time for a change. It's time to embrace the profound truth that you are who God declares you to be. Cease disqualifying yourself. Some of us preclude our own potential even before we step onto the playing field. Keep in mind that you serve a God who can position you in roles you may not be technically qualified for solely because you belong to His bloodline. His ways transcend human qualifications and He will direct you to your destined place, utilizing whatever means He deems necessary. Proverbs 16.9 reminds us, The heart of man plans his way, but the Lord establishes his steps. So it's crucial to acknowledge that sometimes your plan and God's plan may diverge, but take heart. When your plan unravels, it merely signifies that it wasn't in alignment with God's purpose. That's all it means. When things don't unfold as anticipated, don't plunge into despair, frustration, or resentment toward God. Recognize that the plan you were holding on to wasn't the one He ordained. We often impose our own deadlines on God and then become upset when He doesn't conform to our timetable. Isaiah 55, 8 to 9 beautifully underscores this truth. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. God's plans exceed our understanding, and His timing is beyond our comprehension. Embrace His plans and trust that His divine timing is always perfect. Indeed, God works in mysterious ways. So, we must learn to walk by faith, even when we've abandoned promises and let go of dreams, deeming them too late to achieve. Looking at a conventional schedule, it might seem accurate that certain goals are unattainable, addictions unbreakable, or parenthood impossible. Action. However, God is declaring that these promises remain on His schedule, for He wouldn't have made them if He weren't determined to fulfill them. As we navigate our days, let us reiterate the sentiment of Philippians 1.6. And I am sure of this, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. Have faith that what God initiated in your life, he will undoubtedly bring to fruition. While it may appear too late in the natural order, rest assured it's never too late in God's divine plan. Offer thanks for those unexpected blessings arriving out of season and recognize that your timeline rests securely in the hands of your God. He knows the inception of His work in your life and precisely where He is leading you. Trust Him, walk by faith, and cease any resentment toward those around you, for it is God who will elevate you at the appointed time. In our journey, it's essential not to confuse our sense of urgency with God's divine purpose. Our urgency can often mislead us into assuming it's aligned with God's intention. We may think, I must act right now, but here's the profound truth. While we may feel an urgency, God does not. His timing does not conform to our hurried pace. Proverbs 19.2 advises, Desire without knowledge is not good, and whoever makes haste with his feet misses his way. When we attempt to hasten God's plan, we often exacerbate the situation by trying to push things forward ourselves. It's crucial to remember that God operates in supernatural ways, as stated in Jeremiah 32, 27, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is anything too hard for me? While circumstances may suggest God is tardy, don't be misled. Your impatience should not dictate God's actions. 
Instead, maintain your faith, continue to pray, and trust that every blessing meant for you will materialize in his perfect timing. You won't have to go after it. It's going to come to you. It's going to happen at the time God has planned. Have you ever found yourself on the brink of hopelessness? Have you received a divine message from God only to look upon it and believe there's no feasible, tangible way for it to come to pass? Be it a scientific challenge or an emotional hurdle, you might think there's no way this could happen. You hold on to the Word of God and it feels like an impossibility. Yet, in your moments of desolation, you are in the perfect position for God to intervene and speak His word of hope into your life. Remember that God's word never returns void. His purposes and plans for you are unassailable. He is God, and when He utters a word, it becomes reality. As we reflect on the creation narrative, we see that God spoke and creation came into existence. His words carry immense power. While we, as finite beings, are bound by time, God operates beyond the confines of time itself. He gazes upon eternity, for He is the Alpha and the Omega, the one who exists before all things and will remain after all else fades away. Time is but a creation of His, and He is not subservient to it. Although He uses time to convey His divine order, He remains untouched by its constraints. Therefore, we must recognize that when God speaks, His promises will manifest, but not necessarily on our immediate timetable. In our lives, God has prepared unscheduled blessings, extraordinary occurrences that defy the natural order and expectations. Even when medical reports or financial experts declare it's too late, God steps in to reveal His boundless power. He is not constrained by time, economic circumstances, age, background or opposition. He is the sovereign of the universe, capable of resurrecting the seemingly lifeless, parting insurmountable obstacles, eradicating sickness, breaking addictions, restoring marriages, and ushering in unprecedented opportunities. Every calling, every prompting toward a purpose is a journey of faith intricately tied to His divine timing, not ours. We cannot engineer a life of faith. Instead, we must live into it. Trust Him steadfastly, even when it appears that nothing is unfolding. Maintain your unwavering belief even when heaven remains silent, for God is ceaselessly at work behind the scenes. Each blessing marked with your name will find its way to you in His perfect time. Know this, dear friends. Your life is infused with purpose, but it necessitates waiting on His impeccable timing. While we may not always comprehend His timetable, we can confide in His unwavering character. Will we stand courageously obedient even in the midst of waiting? One essential truth remains. If you withhold your yes from His call, you may never witness the fruition of His promises. Hence, in faithful and patient obedience, we must wait for the word of the Lord to come to pass. God meticulously crafts His plans and purposes within us, and here is the resounding message. Nothing is wasted when we place our trust in God's timing. He is the God who transforms our ashes into beauty, anoints us with the oil of joy in seasons of mourning and grief. Only God possesses the ability to redeem the time we spend waiting. Even in our most hopeless moments, God's character remains steadfast, and nothing is ever squandered when we choose to await the fulfillment of His promises in His perfect timing.